Hello and welcome to the third episode of my let's play of Ashwalkers. In the last episode we made some progress, we had to um, find our way through or over the freezing grey mountain and we did that. And yeah, by the end of the episode we entered a ruin inside of which we found a message by the previous squad. So that would be the second squad, I guess. And they basically told us not to go to the Dome of Domes because that seems to be uh, controlled by people who aren't very fond of strangers. Um, they told us to go to the Sleeping Dome instead, but considering the fact that they never returned to the Citadel and we still need to find a home for all the people in the Citadel, um, I decided to keep on heading for the Dome of Domes. Uh, and yeah, now we seem to be pretty close to it. We have reached the Urban Ruin by the end of the last episode and that's where we're gonna continue right now. So let's see how it goes and if we can reach a good conclusion to this journey. Alrighty, here we are. Right where we left off. So um, yeah. Let's uh, let's hope for the best. At least it's not freezing cold anymore, but it seems like our hope is uh, draining relatively quickly. I'm not quite sure why we are so close to our destination. Yeah, but I guess none of the two options uh, seemed too amazingly uh, too, too amazing. I guess. Um, yeah, since um, heading for the sleeping dome, yeah, I still don't know. I mean, I, I think the best case scenario would be that we find a good home for our squad there, because maybe the other squad went there, found a place for themselves, but um, not enough room for all those people in the citadel. I think it was 200,000. So, yeah. So that would mean, okay, our squad could have a good life, but that's not our main goal here. I mean, we embarked on this dangerous journey to find a home for many, many more people. So yeah, I uh, I still hope that the Dome of Domes will be a good decision. That's kind of my reasoning here, but uh, I don't know how hopeful I am. Okay, your uh, energy is draining. Seems like we will need to rest again soon, but I'm just happy that we are not freezing anymore, although the warmth is also draining. Seems like there's yet another beacon. Uh, let's camp first. Because the amount of camping in the last episode was a bit excessive, <laughs> honestly. But hey, um, seems like we might feed Sin. That seems to be a good idea. Should make a fire here. Don't have too much firewood right now, but I guess it's all right. This might be enough. Um, no one needs healing, so that's cool. Uh, okay, I guess, I guess we schedule then. Dangerous low. Okay, we still need someone to guard so that people don't steal from us again. Mm. I guess collecting resources wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah, okay, well, let's see. Rest. Rest first. Hetra needs rest and Kali, I think, needs rest too. It increases the danger, so maybe the other two will just stand guard for now. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Hmm. 
what had to be done. The rest of the squad members find Petra mute and covered in dirt, slumped beside two fresh graves. Petra is discouraged. Okay, I guess we'll need to have a talking session then. Hmm. So, I wonder if Petra killed someone while sleeping, I don't know. <laughs> or just found some dead bodies and buried them, considering what had to be done. It sounds like there was a fight, I don't know. Um, bam, bam, bam. So Nadir and Sin would like to sleep, um, I think. Also do something like this. So maybe Sin will rest some other time. Um, Nadia, actually. Sin is resting right now and yeah, I think that's better actually since uh, Sin is our fighter. We might need that, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess let's just do it like this. Seems good, I think. We got enough resources for now. Pathfinder, are you listening to me? You okay? Sorry, I got lost in my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Thick clouds, a trail of Pyroclastic clouds grow on the horizon. The squad members watch the terrifying sight from afar. Okay, at least no more discouragement. Um, yeah, and I guess it's time to time to leave. Nadir will need to rest at some point, but I mean, Nadir has like high. Um, doesn't show me right now. Before I could see the actual levels when I hovered over it. Oh, is that not possible anymore? Or is it on the distribute screen? Ah, yeah, here, here it works. So 20 of 31, so yeah, the, the total is higher, so it looks smaller. And it is the lowest right now, but it's still not horribly uh, horribly low, I'd say. Uh, anyone want, want to eat anything? I don't know. Uh, Nadia, got some room in your stomach. Uh, yeah, next next stop, I suppose. Yeah, pack up and leave. Alrighty, is that the fourth beacon? Do we need a fourth beacon? Yes. The squad members approach the last beacon. Their expedition will soon be at an end. The Dome of Domes is behind this ruin. They are going to make it after all. Don't be so sure. Radio communication is established. The operator is ecstatic at the news. He eagerly ask, asks the squad, what must we do now? Dispatch part of the population as scouts. Don't do anything. Wait. Hang back and study the route. Leave now. That's a bit optimistic, <laughs> leaving with all of them. I don't get why we would need scouts. I mean, we are the scouts, aren't we? Okay, things might have changed since we embarked first. Yeah, but, but what if now we discover that the Dome of Domes is not the destination and from what we've heard we gotta assume that uh, there might be problems, so don't do anything, wait. The squad asks the operator to wait. The operator seems disappointed, but keeps up a professional front. He tells the squad that he will await a signal damn, before evacuating any inhabitants. He wishes the squad luck for the last lag of their journey. Oh well. 
discouraged. Lovely. Seems like we gotta rest again just to <laughs> uh, re-motivate our people. Have a, have a nice long talk. Actually, let's just do that. Or, uh, I don't know, we will need to use firewood for that. That's a problem. Okay, let's not do that right now. Maybe if we find some firewood. Can we enter here? I don't think so. Something is happening. Um, well, we entered another area, I guess. Not sure if I have to go up there or in here. Or if both is possible, but okay. The Urban Labyrinth. Two paths fork away from the underground ruin. One path leads up and the squad member sends a human presence ahead. The other path leads down and there is no apparent company on it. Still being trapped in a tunnel sounds a bit rough and so far we haven't made uh, horrible experiences with people so let's go up there. Yeah, encountering humans might give them valuable information for the next lag of their journey. Exactly. And also I don't like being trapped in a tunnel. <laughs> Not, not noticing anyone doesn't mean that there is no one. So who is this right now? Uh, Sin. Considering the fact that Nadir will have to rest anyway, should we just use Nadir to farm this? Uh, maybe. Yeah, can't farm too much though. Uh, okay, Petra, you have enough energy. So, great, now everyone is uh, kind of discouraged, but hey, we have more firewood, so let's have a quick rest here. We don't need too much warmth, so maybe this will be enough. Seems so. Food, uh, yes, food indeed. Kali or rather wait? I'd say rather wait. So schedule. Oh, everyone. Okay, Nadia's kind of remotivated, it seems. At least on this screen. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's a problem if some people are talking. I, like last time we were robbed, everyone was resting and then that happened. So I guess if people are talking and not everyone is sleeping, we might be okay. Because we have done that before and it wasn't a huge problem. So maybe we try that. Let's have everyone else talk and hope for the best. I think this is okay. Even if a new shelter for Citadel inhabitants does exist, I'm increasingly doubtful that mere mortals can survive the journey. But if we do succeed, then according to your logic, we're superhuman. If everyone in the Citadel sets off at the same time, the journey would be less dangerous for them. They're counting on us. We must be heroes for them. Okay, yeah, maybe it was a good choice to not um, have them go in groups and send out scouts and such. I mean, I don't really see the point. I don't know. The group is assailed by a giant moth that is disturbed by the intrusion uh, in its usual hideout. Panicked, it flies blindly into the walls before managing to soar away. We're not even inside! <laughs> Oh well, at least no robbers. So 
Yeah, looks okay-ish to me. Some more rest for some of our squad would be nice, but I just appreciate the fact that people are remotivated, so we're gonna continue. Okay, energy is also draining fast here. Maybe due to the acid air. Yeah, seems so. Acid air doesn't sound too inviting. Hey, some more firewood. Always appreciate it. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, this acid air is not nice, but I still prefer it to the cold of the Grey Mountain. Mm, don't really need that, but whatever. Give me two even. Uh, we might need it at some point. So if I keep collecting Petra, you'll you'll get to rest on our next stop. One is discouraged again. <laughs> Energy is also low, so yeah, after we collect this firewood, it's break time. Alrighty. Camping again. Yeah, damn, forgot to silence my my phone. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, let's make a nice fire. I think we're gonna stay a bit longer. So medium should be definitely enough. Also, it's almost full anyway. Dangerous low again. That is cool. So uh, yeah, we might have to hunt for food now. Let's see. Five percent could be better. Seventy-five, okay. So eighty-five. Well, maybe we send these two, and Petra can rest, and Nadia can guard for now. Yeah. Okay. Nice, we got food, that's exactly what we needed. Perfect. So let's continue. Uh, thick clouds, pyroclastic clouds on the horizon. Alrighty. So more people need to rest. Um, so let's make it happen. Kali and Sin. Suppose Petra could guard. Maybe we have Nadia sleep as well. That's gonna increase the danger by a lot though. But on the other hand, I guess it's not the worst choice you could make. No, I can definitely think of worse choices. <laughs> the figure, disturbing figure, motionless. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just feed them and then it's all right. Nadia is uh, like slightly demotivated, but I guess that's not a huge problem right now. Hopefully. Let's be optimistic. good enough for now I think I don't know maybe you get a bit more uh, yeah let's keep one food for I don't know like a situation where we might need food I guess <laughs> all right keep uh, keep moving what's that over there
Okay, I think I'll collect that. Um, Nadia doesn't have much more room. Um, whatever, Petra, you will get to rest again next time. happening? The Observer. The squad picks its way through the narrow ruins. Suddenly Petra senses eyes following the squad in the darkness. A human figure is watching them. Provoke the figure, call him over to talk, set a trap, run away and shake him off in the ruins. I want to know what's up. I mean, I don't know, if this would say a non-lethal trap I might consider it, but let's see. The squad decides to beckon the observer over to talk. The scouts step out into the open and ask the observer to leave his hiding place to have a conversation. After a few seconds of silence, the figure slips away into the darkness. Eh, that doesn't have to be all bad. Still might remember that we weren't like instantly hostile and attacking and provoking or whatever. Maybe that's a good thing don't really need more healing stuff, so I really don't know. Should I pick this up? Shouldn't I? I guess not. Our space is limited and we have far too much healing supplies already, so let's keep moving. Okay, got a crate over there. And I'm gonna rest again soon. Firewood, sure, I'll take it. Um, alrighty, camping time again. Dangerous average, that's alright. Uh, yeah, fire time. can increase our motivation by making the fire bigger. That also increases the danger, so I'm not sure, but might be worth it. Damn, still everyone is like neutral. That's annoying. I was hoping that the fire alone would uh, be enough, but maybe it will be. Like if we make this a two turn rest. Petra sleep. Um, maybe I should also distribute food. Seems good. No more food left though. So time for scheduling. So now Petra, sleep. Um, Nadia can guard for now. Kali also rest and sin. 75% and a chance to get hurt. Damn. Huh. Also costly. We aren't in dire need of food just yet, so maybe, maybe just also rest. We'll increase the danger by a lot, but I suppose for now it's okay. Yeah, let's do it. Weather bitten, discouraged, lovely. Okay, let's see what the situation is with the... Uh, just says where they are right now. I can see that without looking at the details, I guess. Ah, uh, no well. Damn, 
danger, 72%. That's average. <laughs> um, okay, Petra, what can you do? You could talk to someone, I guess. Um, yeah, I would like my my fighter to uh, to like be fully motivated. In case we need to. Um, 65, nope, not gonna do that. Um, guard, and maybe you can rest then, Nadia. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. I know talking isn't your strong point, so don't feel you have to keep up the conversation, Hunter. Thanks, I like company and silence too. <laughs> Taps in shoulder. So shoulder tapping is okay. Oh, come on. <sighs> Seems like Nadir needs someone to talk now. Danger high. Think that might mean it's time to move on, even if Nadia and Kali haven't had the chance to recover some motivation. But uh, next time, I mean, they probably recovered some from the fire and such, but then also lost some. It's not far. Yeah, yeah. We won't get far without food, I'm sure. That's some food over there, right? <laughs> the attack. Ah, seems like it was a good idea to um, um, keep Sin. Uh, ah, show them an empty bag. We really don't have any food. <laughs> Suddenly, at a bend in the ruins, a group of savages appears and blocks the squad's path. Armed, the savages approach and order them to hand over any food. Well, I mean, we really don't have any, so maybe we can solve this with diplomacy. <sighs> I mean, they are asking for food, not like for money or whatever. I don't think money plays a huge role in this society anyway, but uh, yeah, they seem to be hungry, so maybe they're not beyond reasoning. I don't know. Empty bag. The squad members show the savages their empty resource bags. The savages are restless and grow angry, then decide to run away into the ruins. I'm glad we didn't have to kill anyone. Well, they could have just picked this up, but, well, what do I know? All right, we've got food again. That's good. <laughs> and at the perfect time as well. Seems like Kali just uh, walked through the air. That's a nice skill to have. In general, but I guess especially when you're a scout. Hmm. The locust's nest. The squad approaches an insect nest. Ensnared and immobilized within this giant mass is a man. He is still alive, yet pinned to the ground by a web of sticky threads and gluey secretions. Run away, free the man, and take the prey away. Free the man. Uh, take the prey away? Like uh, the other stuff that this animal has... Um, has caught? Or is the man the prey at the same time? <laughs> I don't know, whatever, we are hungry, take the prey away, but we might have to fight then, I believe. 
squad decides to free the man and take the resources. Squad members gather everything possible as the squad is running away. Giant locusts descend with wings thrumming, ready to attack. Abandon the rations and save the man. Abandon the man and save the rations. Abandon everything and run away. Uh, well, we want to save the man. We can find rations elsewhere. <sighs> Locusts descend on the squad, stinging wildly. However, the squad members make a lot of noise, enabling a hasty retreat. The man is saved. They uh, still hurt a lot, but it's not a huge problem. We have healing equipment, uh, lots of it, so cool. The man is saved. The squad has been injured. After a few moments, the man's strength returns. He thanks the squad profusely and announces that he needs to leave in order to save someone's life. He gives the squad a ration and tells each member that he is in their debt. Cool, we got rations after all, so uh, yeah. Time to camp before something else happens. Let's heal and rest and do all that. Okay. Um, I really wonder if this is like actually raising the stats, but it would be weird because I never saw someone heal just from the from the fire. So maybe it actually improves um, like the healing and such. So let's see if we heal now. It would heal four. What happens if I um, like uh, make a small or even a medium fire first? We need more warmth anyway. So let's see, does it heal? Yes, it does heal more. Okay, finally un I understand how the fire works. That is good to know. So the bigger the fire, the more effective everything else. Cool. Right, everyone is back at full health then. I like that. That's a good start. Uh, we can also feed people. Nadia. I guess. But yeah, that's important to remember. So ideally feed people uh, at a bigger fire and talk at a bigger fire and all that. So yeah, scheduling time. I think Nadia needs someone to talk to. Um, talk to Petra or Kali or to both of them. But I think Petra needs to rest. So Kali also kind of does, but uh. mm -hmm. Could both rest. Then there's no one to talk to. Oh, dangerous low. I like the sound of that. Um, all right, then. Then maybe we don't even need someone to guard right now. And you could talk to. You don't really need to talk to Sin. Uh, well, you could always rest later. Or could always talk later. We can't rest with all of them right now, so... Yeah. Sin rests now, and... Um, and they could all talk like all except for Sin who is at full uh, full motivation I mean kinda probably not really full but at least uh, optimistic yeah let's do that for now so were you with the Pathfinders Petra? No, I did have military training, but I was never part of the cast, unlike Pathfinder Nadia. Our learned captain wasn't scraped off the bottom of society's shoe and flung outside to see if she could survive. Whoa. I've been told some horrific tales about those methods, so I'm not surprised the Pathfinders are elite explorers. Was or was not? I'm confused here. I thought that was a diss against Petra or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. Alright. 
let's continue. Maybe I misread that. The wave of rats eating all our food. Yay. Horde of marauding, marauding rodents surprise the squad and try to make off with their food. The squad members try to repel the wave of vicious creatures, but their efforts are in vain. All food gone. No wood, no food. Yay. Uh, I guess Sin has to hunt now. Damn, only 75%. That's rough. Still gotta do it, I guess. Um... Let's have Nadia and Petra rest and Kali guard. Yeah, it's the best we can do right now, I believe. That uh, wave of rats is a rough thing to to happen. Okay, well at least we got more firewood now. That's something. Still. Book beneath the ashes. Petra and Carly find a travel log. Its contents make for depressing reading. Ah, aren't we lucky? <laughs> Fire extinguished, and I guess I don't know. Do we want to stay any longer? What What's the chances of finding something? Fifty-five percent. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. I guess we just move on for now. Whatever. We'll see what happens. We have enough firewood for a small fire at least, and there's something over there. But yeah, this is not how I would uh, have, have hoped this resting session would go. Great, more healing supplies. Exactly what we don't really need right now. The one thing we do have enough of. <sighs> oh well. Achievement unlocked the crop. I think I picked up 50 resources now. Um, okay. Pedra. Yeah, keep collecting. Yeah. Well, tell the rats. <laughs> At least our food is not dropping uh, super quickly. Yay, more fire. Oh, food actually. Hmm. All right. <laughs> that is good news. Yeah, keep picking stuff up and then then camp and then just feed people, make a small fire for now. Has to be enough, I suppose. Um yeah. got two and Petra the main harvester got four seems seems all right um, so scheduling time I wish we had more firewood uh, so better chances of finding nope still no damn we need firewood I don't know should I still try to collect stuff Oh, you definitely need to rest. Same for you. Um, Sin and Nadia might just talk. I don't know. I really hope we find some wood. Otherwise, we'll be so cold on the next stop. Uh, yeah. We made it through the Grey Mountains without uh, freezing and now, well, why the twisting and turning, old man? It's called stretching. Good for the joints, my dear outsider. Watch and learn. If you want to live to my ripe old age and still keep roaming outside, that is. 
My folks generally don't live as long as yours, and they are rarely in such good condition. Ah, earthquake, daily occurrence. No worries. More worries about the lack of firewood, though. Eh, we'll be fine. <laughs> Let's journey on. Hope this is the right direction. We will find food, won't we? Sure, but especially we're gonna find firewood. New area, okay. Well, new section of this area. Ooh, people! That's always good. At least so far it kinda has been. Not 100% good, but good enough. The patrol. An armed patrol passes. Among them is a savage who closely resembles the figure they encountered earlier. He points to them. The patrol greets them amicably, then leaves without further ado. Oh, see? Just say hi to creepy figures in the distance. Uh, but this does not just look like a patrol. <laughs> this looks like... Uh, town full of people. I am confused. Where the heck are we? And uh, can I burn one of your houses? We really need some firewood. Ideally soon. All right, what's happening? The shack. <laughs> this is more than a shack. The scout passes a shack. Inside, a savage waves to them. It's the man the squad saved from the locust's nest. He invites each one in to dinner. An old woman inside smiles at them as she pre prepares a fragrant stew. <laughs> Refuse! Accept. Squad members are happy to accept the invitation. The meal is a festive one. The savage tells them an interesting story. To the northwest there is a tower in the middle of nowhere, emblazoned with the same symbol he sees on the squad's equipment. When the meal has finished, the squad members pack up to resume their journey. Yay, sated the hunger, warmed up and is remotivated. Can you also give us some firewood, uh, like for the road, maybe? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's okay. Thanks, this this was good. Great outcome. <sighs> okay, so... Tower to the northwest. Alrighty. Uh, I wish we also had uh, regained some energy, because that's gonna be a problem pretty soon. Kinda already is. Sin being low on energy is something I really don't like to see. But we can do a lot about that. I mean, as soon as we camp, we'll freeze. Hmm, maybe freezing is preferable. Crap. This is not good. Okay, freezing it is. Uh, maybe you rest first? I don't know. Someone needs to scout. 75%, that's better. Oh, crap. You're not good at this. I guess this is... All right, enough has to be. Um, so yeah, you rest and Petra will have to guard, I believe. Please find something. I really don't want everyone to freeze to death. That 
Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Nadia. <sighs> Good that I sent Kali as well. All right. The squad members feel the ground shaking. Earthquake again. Okay, time to um, uh, light on fire what we have just found. Not much else we can do. Time to... Well, we don't even need to feed anyone just yet. That's a good thing, but people need to rest now. At the same time, we also need to explore. <laughs> good thing there's not much people could steal from us, so I guess I'll just send... Uh, uh, sin exploring. Yeah. And the rest will rest. It has to be done. Please find something. Cool. Yeah, close one. But, uh, yeah. Would have preferred some food instead of the health kit, but whatever. We got more firewood, so that's something. Oh, come on! Stop reading that stuff! <sighs> we could still stick around longer and we might have to. Still average, that's okay. Um, yeah, Sin needs food for the hunt. Sin also needs to rest, I believe. Anyone else who can try to find something? 85% and a high chance of losing one point of health. That's okay, I'm gonna take that risk. Petra. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe like this. Or should Cardi guard? That's ah, okay. Let's see. Let's hope for the best. Please find something useful. Come on. We had some fire. Oh, damn. Well. <laughs> Time to move on then. <laughs> Crap. That final rest was not helpful at all. In energy wise I guess it's okay but uh, oh and you even got hurt Nadia good job brought nothing home and gosh damn what is this improvised shack a temporary dwelling the free did not intend to stay too long in this gigantic ruin but they have adopt adapted well to it cool mm, yeah looks like it yeah I did and starts to freeze. Great. There's not much we can do about that. We were really unlucky here. I hope no one dies now. Just gonna keep moving. Come on, there's a fire. Just warm up there. Is this just more lore memorial free folk killed by the governors there have been others who tried to access the dome of domes before the arrival of the squad but it clearly resists intrusion yeah i would like some firewood please there's just nothing here what's going on now since health is dropping because of the cold good stuff gotta love it Uh, 
I'll just keep moving. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> looks like we're close to a cutscene so please <laughs> thanks the king of the free the squad members are invited into a circular chamber bedecked like a throne room a stern-faced man stands bold upright and steps forward from the back of the chamber to shake the hands of each squad member his handshake is firm yet welcoming he invites them to sit with him will do he introduces himself as the King of the Free, unifier of the Grey people from all horizons. He lays out his objective. He wants to shelter his subjects inside the Dome of Domes, currently occupied by a coterie of old world aristocrats, the Lazarus Governors. Well, I would like to take them down. <laughs> we might be on the right path here after all, so that's cool. Huh. Kali suggests the squad's objective is similar, to find shelter for the Citadel's inhabitants as Dome KM3 is about to collapse. The king expands upon his problem. Capturing the Dome of Domes would not be an issue given the numbers of troops he has at his disposal, but getting the dome's IT and aerological systems to work would be far beyond his means. However, the squad and the Citadel's population have the skills to save his people. In exchange for technical assistance and advice in conquering the Dome of Domes, the King of the Free would be proud to take in the squad and the whole population of the Citadel. With calm determination in his eyes, he patiently awaits the answer of the squad. Help the king of the free. Refuse to help the savages. I don't like this whole monarchy concept, this uh, hierarchy in general. Um, being the king of the free is kind of a contradiction in itself, but eh, this seems like the best option. Almost a win-win if there wasn't this whole monarchy thing going on. But yeah, let's do it. They might backstab us, but come on, what are our options? The squad agrees to help the king of the, uh, the free. Smiling warmly, the king rises up uh, with dignified joy. He orders his guards to make some quarters ready for the squad while he rustles up everything needed to celebrate this occasion. Thanks. <laughs> we need warmth and food and everything. The squad has found a new and important ally, someone calm and generous. During the evening, the King of the Free asks the squad for advice. His people are warriors, war is their way, but perhaps there are other means. He asks the squad members what they think. Should they continue with the assault or try to reason with the governors? Let's try to resolve the situation using diplomacy or war is the only proven way. Well, honestly, <laughs> this might surprise you, but considering the fact that Squad 2 was already there and was. Yeah, they didn't have nice things to tell us, so I don't think I want to reason with the governors. They really don't seem like the people to reason with from, from all I know about them. So this time I'm with Sin. I don't know. War is the only proven way. We, we really need this and we're desperate and they seem to suck, so... The squad suggests direct confrontation as the best method, so war it will be, the King of the Free finally announces. The following day, the warriors make ready and mount their siege weaponry. The first day of territorial war will begin at the foot of the gigantic structure, the Dome of Domes. Click to continue. Will do. 
Oh, come on. We were just at a feast. How are we still, like, suffering? Oh, well. Cutscene. <laughs> the Siege of the Dome. The Siege of the Dome of Domes has been raging for a few days now. The scouts support the King of the Free. The latter regularly seeks advice from them about strategy, drawing on their knowledge of domes. On the morning of the fifth day, an emissary of the governors comes to negotiate with the king. The emissary offers a proposal to end the siege. Before making his decision, the king consults the squad to find out their opinions of the governor's proposal. Okay, what is it? The savages accept to if the savages accept to work for the governors, they will let them enter the dome. This opening gambit is a daring one, but a counterproposal might be possible. To oblige the governors to accept the savages as their equals. The final decision lies with the squad. Let the king decide without the squad, make a counterproposal, accept the proposal, nope, refuse the proposal and keep attacking. I don't trust them and just this, this offer is like, what the hell? <laughs> Come in and work for us, we're so generous. I mean, seriously? And now if we make a counter proposal when they made such an, like such a horrible p proposal to begin with, how can we trust them? It's obvious that they don't want to give up anything. They are just desperate now, like we were before. Keep attacking, seriously. Make a better proposal, then sure. Squad refuses to work for the governors. With the squad's support, the savages finally break through the dome's defenses. Together, they engulf the bulwark and mercilessly execute any... Okay, that's a bit harsh. I didn't say to do that. <laughs> oh well. Together, they engulf the bulwark and mercilessly execute any inhabitant they find. Seriously? Once you get control, you don't have to execute anyone. <sighs> With any remaining governors dead and the site secured, the king has entourage entourage and the squad form an assembly to govern the dome. The squad contacts the citadel, informing them of the situation and of which path to follow. <sighs> this is not what I said. I said refuse the proposal, keep attacking. I didn't say keep attacking and then slaughter. <laughs> That's... ah! Keep attacking, do as little harm as possible once you're in control. Establish like a secure relationship and ideally build a community with the former inhabitants on an equal level. I wasn't opposed to the equal level, I just didn't trust anything from the governors at that point. Oh well. <laughs> This might not be the best ending, but it might also not be the worst, I don't know. As they prepared the Great Exodus, the Citadel population decided to dispatch a vanguard composed of the most vulnerable among the population guarded by elite pathfinders. Under-equipped, the vanguard suffered heavy losses during the journey, but it held the standard of a hopeful people high. The vanguard reached the region of the Dome of Domes in, a, in 100 days. Alright. I was reading quickly because I wasn't sure if it was going to continue on its own. Um, all right. The vanguard reached the Dome of Domes without difficulty. It was warmly welcomed by the squad who, has, who had formed a government comprised of savages from many locations. Although the new society was only in its infancy, everyone was determined to work together. Even though they were well informed, the vanguard had not anticipated such a situation, believing they would find a dome similar to KM3.
Vanguard, Vanguard warmed to this state of affairs. Its members settled alongside the savages and eventually got to know them. The KM3 population would arrive a year later after a perilous journey and would successfully settle in the Dome of Domes. Highly respected in their new roles at, as advisors for the security and sustainability of the new society, the squad members were shrewd decision makers and remained cautious and diplomatic at all times. Well, except for when we slaughter defenseless people we have already beaten, but yeah. Ah, <sighs> the advisors, <laughs> the first of many endings in the Dome of Domes. Short expedition, game time 2 hours and 15 minutes. Well, my recordings are longer, but I guess that's okay, I don't know. Uh, also, there was um, a bit of a problem with my save file in between, so maybe it just didn't uh, um, like count all the time. I don't know. Uh, seems rather short for the four hours I think that I've recorded roughly. Emissaries Optimists. Favorite behavior Stealth 10. Character most listened to Nadia 4. Alrighty, we're the advisors now. Um, yeah, not a horrible ending. That part about killing everyone left alive inside the Dome of Domes, that's um, unfortunate. That's not what I wanted and not, um, yeah. I guess next time when I reach a similar ending to this with the same decisions at the end, I would go to like decide to make the counter proposal and offer them to live as equals. That would have been my ideal scenario anyway. I just didn't believe even if they accepted the offer that they wouldn't backstab us. That's why I went for after that horrible offer they made. Uh, I wasn't going to trust them. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what that end will be. Maybe they will backstab us. So maybe this was the best possible solution. We're going to find out eventually. I am going to play again. Although I do believe if I like not if like when I play uh, or start my next expedition I um, I will probably try to make it as different as possible from this first one and again do a full recording and then when I maybe had two or three different expeditions that are like really different from each other um, I'll probably um, still keep playing because I am curious what the other outcomes might be um, but probably not do like the full four hour or two to four hour, I guess in general it might be quicker anyway, but I might cut it down a little bit so that you only see the interesting parts, not the whole resource management, which is also kind of interesting, but I guess not to watch for the hundredth time. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this. Um, definitely most like the story and the decision making, the results management, I don't know. Um, I guess we weren't struggling too much just towards the end here, but then it wasn't a problem anymore. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I guess the resource management is my least favorite part about the game. I do enjoy the story parts and all that, the decision making. Um, I think you could change the difficulty, right? Main menu and maybe changing the difficulty just means you don't have to do as much resource management. So if that is possible, I might actually decide to lower the difficulty. I guess it's not possible, at least not here. Let's check. What if we like uh, start a new run? I think there were, like there definitely are options. Also, Game mode standard or custom, okay. Standard, I guess, is then always the same order of things. But if we go for custom, okay, we can go for starting traits. I'm not quite sure how that uh, changes things. Um, Sadly, we can change the difficulty. Honestly, I think in future runs especially, I could do without the whole resource management thing. <laughs> it just eats up time and it's not, I don't think adding that much. But on the other hand, it kind of influences which decisions you can make. And um, 
Yeah, so I guess it is an important factor also for the storytelling. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, this was fun. And I guess for a first ending, it's definitely not the worst that could have happened. We found a new home for 200,000 people and uh, only committed a few war crimes. So <laughs> yeah, I can still not be 100% happy about that and only talk about it ironically because what the heck was that? Why? Why would you kill everyone left alive? That's uh, oh well. Yeah, war. Still, uh, we completed our mission successfully. Yay. But yeah, I guess the most interesting thing to find out right now, because we have like now found out governors still ruling the Dome of Domes, uh, King of the Free already kind of at war with them, or at least looking for it. Um, but we still don't know what hap what's uh, like going on at the sleeping dome. So that would be what I'm most interested in right now and what I might want to find out in my next run. But yeah, so far I really enjoyed this. Um, I think um, yeah, this, this whole world they have created here, the characters are interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to find out what all the other endings are, how much they differ from this one. And yeah, just to find out how many secrets there are left to uncover. Um, yeah, great experience overall. I'm really glad that I um, decided to play this. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's all for today. So if you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a thumbs up. Um, maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that by now. It's time! It sounds so rude when I say, if you haven't done that by now, sounds like I'm, come on, it's time to subscribe, but uh, it wasn't meant that way, I guess. That's where language comes in and uh, putting nuance into your words. But yeah, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, but if you decide not to, that's cool too. Also, if you um, have any comments, any suggestions, any thoughts on what you've seen here, uh, then please write those down in the comment section down below. I'm always happy about feedback, be it positive or negative. I would prefer it if it would be constructive, like uh, constructively telling me, hey, maybe do this uh, differently. That might, uh, might be cooler um, and not just you suck because I already know that. That's not, 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 not news to me, so. <laughs> Nah, seriously, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm also frequently live streaming over on Twitch, um, which is in a way a bit less weird since I'm talking to people directly and not just through a camera and a recording. So would be cool to meet anyone who watches this on my stream. That's, uh, yeah, that would be something really nice. And um, yeah, I suppose that's all. So. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again the next time. Until then, take care. Bye.